Beyonce and Jay-Z will do anything to destroy anyone who speaks out against them. Okay, I get the threats, but you have to remember one thing. I know your deepest secrets. I know so much about you and what you've done. I know so much on how you got where you are, how you stepped on the many people. Beyonce, how you guys ended Carrie Hilson's career because she said something about you. That's how hateful you guys are, how you step on anybody to stay on the top. So remember, your relationship was a business relationship, financial, to get to the top, to be, be to become billionaires. There's no love there. See, what's done in the dark will definitely come in the light. Keep your threats up. I'm here today, and what I got to say, I'm going to say it. So don't, don't, don't make idle threats to me. Because, see, I ain't biggie. Say I ain't Beanie Seagulls. I ain't Freeway. How you, you roll all them off the minute they did for you to get you to the top. All them writing for you. And then the minute you get a little taste of success, you wrote them off. You just totally said, I don't know. Them. Say you don't know me. I dare you. I dare you. Remember, all the receipts, all the proof, the old school footage, I still have it. See, hardly nobody knows, but I'll say it, man. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. Y'all wish it what you wish it. To stay on top. But there's one thing about me, bro. I can't be bought. This is Uncle Ron. Just like I know how you guys started, I can put my foot down and make you make it all go away. Promise you. You're playing with the wrong one. Hello there and welcome back to the channel. So guys, what this alleged exploit God is saying are some of the things that we've heard in the past but just decided to snug under the rug because of course Yonsei would never uh, do such a thing or rather evil things to people. And I do remember the time Kerry Helson diss track Turn Me On came out. A lot of the beehives were just against the song, you guys. And things got even worse when Kerry Helson was asked um, I remember it was during an interview and the interviewer asked Kerry Hilson to hold up a magazine which had Jay-Z and Beyonce on the cover page and asked if she knows who these people are and Kerry Hilson jokingly said no you guys and unfortunately that is when things went downhill for her. The beehive literally came and chopped her off off of the music industry you guys now of course i this is why i'm saying uh, i don't think it's beyonce who directly ended Kerry Hilson's career, but rather it was the Beehive because they were the ones doing all the dirty work um, on behalf of a Beyonce, you guys. And I can just imagine perhaps it was just way too much for her because that was literally the last time we ever heard from Miss Kerry Hilson, you guys. And of course, I can really understand the pressure that she was under at the time and Perhaps she thought she was going to take maybe a one year, two year break, but unfortunately it ended up being a decade or so. And she tried coming out to redeem herself by saying that, you know what, what I did on Turning Me On song, it was just literally a song. It was not directed to anybody. Furthermore, you guys, even her colleagues, some of her colleagues turned their backs on her you guys they did not want to be associated with her and honestly for me that was really heartbreaking now on another tiktok video the ex-body god revealed some really deep information about the couple which made any other things which he has been saying to not be believable you guys he basically shared that 
Blue Ivy, who is the firstborn child to be, and Jay is not Jay Z's child, but rather Tay Tay Smith's child. Now, of course, a lot of people during this time of the live and some of some parts of the videos which were posted but later taken down, people were coming for him, stating that we know that all along you've been giving us the wrong information about the couple because it's so clear to see that Blue Ivy is the daughter of is literally the biological daughter of jay-z because she is a copy and paste of jay-z now things got even messy when he revealed that beyonce is allegedly on drugs you guys now of course beyonce is in the music industry so it's really not something that is far-fetched because a lot of her colleagues do you know take drugs in order to ease the pain away or because they are just swamped by work and they just need something to literally take them off of the pressures of the music industry so a lot of people have been coming for him stating that beyonce would never do such things she's literally a very clean person a very clean girl so drugs are really not would never be her thing you guys so what are your thoughts on these allegations being revealed by this ex-body god please do share that with me down on the comment section like this video and also subscribe if you have not yet done so and and I will surely see you guys on my next one. Bye.